The twin idiots seated before you are poised to cast the she-male fabulous Unique Adams as Rizzo in Greece. The already overly sexualized minstrel show featuring teen pregnancy and the ridiculously unnecessary lubrication of lightning. If they succeed, they will set a legal precedent that will clear the way for Unique to become a Cheerio in the very year that I am set to notch my 1,000th tournament victory and become the winningest coach in cheerleading history. Wait. When did Unique say he wanted to be a Cheerio? So I don't understand. Unique Adams is nothing more than an attractive, buxom young woman who's got it going on in all the right places. She's a brick house, Sue. Uh, Principal Figgins, Sue's right about that. Unique is definitely a guy. What? Look, I, I don't see what the big deal is. If Unique identifies as a girl and dresses as a girl, she should be allowed to play one on stage. Cross-gendered casting is as old as theater itself. In Shakespeare's time, all the female roles were played by men. There's no way that's true. In the last few years, McKinley has become the kind of place where all kinds of outcasts can feel free to follow their dreams. I don't think that should change just because Coach Sylvester is a bigot. You know, I think twice about calling someone a bigot who's had gay Cheerios, both male and female, on her squad, and who resigned her post as principal in protest because this school wasn't doing enough to protect a gay student from being bullied. But you do have a point there, mashed potato pants. We've become somewhat of a progressive bubble here at McKinley High, and I think that's due to the fact that the Glee Club is being run by a strange, weepy man-child who has lotion in his hair but no adult friends. We live in Ohio, and if you choose to cast Rizzo with a naive, gender-confused boy in a dress, I guarantee you someone is going to raise a very public stink about it. And I don't think that's fair. Don't put this kid in danger because you want to make some grand gesture about how open-minded you are. William, I spent the last year stifling my natural hatred for you and helping you win a Glee Club National Championship. Now is your moment to pay me back by putting a stop to this so I don't have to. It's not my call, Sue. Finn and Artie are running the musicals this year and I trust them implicitly. Enough. Okay, with all due respect, this is none of your business. I'm the director. It's my decision. William, maybe you need to remind Chubby Juan Kenobi of the daily nightmare that is born of being my enemy. You can't threaten me, Sue. I've already lost my girlfriend, my future, my pride. I have nothing more to lose. I'm casting unique, and that's all there is to it. And, you know, I, I thought that you would have known more about being an underdog after you helped us win nationals and, and had a retarded baby, but you... I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to say that. That that was the wrong word to use. I apologize.